very speechless because a lot of memories came back. You know, being here for three years, a lot of hard battles, long nights, early mornings, just thinking about that. And it came back to me. I'm surprised to see Orlando Antigua, Andres Caliz, all those places. Yeah, definitely. You know, they really caught me off, caught me on guard. You know, I'm watching it. I'm um, not really know what to expect. Um, you know, they did a great job. Um, it definitely was uh, very special. It wasn't maybe mean to hear those messages from maybe everyone that was there along your, your journey at Illinois. Uh, it was crazy just knowing that, you know, the legacy and the, the, um, the mark that I left here, not just on the court, but with the good relationship with the guys and the coaching staff and, you know, the players. Um, that's what it's all about, you know, um, building bonds and building relationships that, you know, never can be taken away, that last forever. And I thought um, I did that here with uh, down in Illinois. Any specific memories or both your head to? Yeah, definitely. You know, I remember the time we played Iowa here. You know, that was the last time I played here, I believe, with fans. Um, I just remember that game and that atmosphere. And I remember, you know, me and Tyler were roommates my last year. I remember, you know, talking about, you know, winning the Big Ten, talking about making it to the tournament. You know, all those dreams and aspirations that I had um, through the thick of the ten where we were bad record-wise to last year, uh, we were good. It all just raced back. There's so many different memories with so many different guys. Hey, when you were in that Jordan Brand store, did you think about your jersey going up in the Raptors? You sent a lot of goals, but I don't think that was one of them. Yeah, I mean, definitely. Um, it was it was a goal that, you know, long-term goal, you know, you definitely, you always want to, want to have. But, you know, this early and to be able to do it the way I did it, um, I don't think that, you know, I could have, you know, that out in the beginning of my recruitment. But to look back at it, you know, the Jordan Brand story, to look back at the commitment I gave to this university and now look at, you know, the success I had, um, it's, just, it's crazy because it wasn't easy, you know, it was very hard. It took a lot of mental toughness, it took a lot of, you know, adversity to overcome. And, um, but to look back at it now and look at how, you know, not just me, but this whole program did it collectively to get this program back to where it needed to be. I'm excited. I mean, when you pulled the cord to let your jersey you know, banner come down, what was you know, the emotions of that? Uh, um, it was very emotional. You know, I was trying to keep myself straight, you know, smile through it all. Um, I had a nice shirt on. I wasn't trying to mess it up. So um, I was excited, though, you know, to, to really just know that no matter what, you know, my, my um, cousins, you know, friends, whoever come to Illinois, my son or um, – Dog, whatever, my kids, 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 whenever they look up there, they go to see my name up there. That's something that's, that's, um, that's crazy. How do you feel to have Jamar make the drive out here as well? Oh, I mean, it's special, you know, to just show those type of person he is to come out here and um, um, be there for be there for me this, this time, you know, this special time. Um, so for him to be here, it shows, you know, what kind of person he is, what kind of leader he is. Go up there next to D, what does that mean? I mean, it's exciting, you know, all of the people up there, I'm blessed to be up there with them because I know that it's not easy to get your third year tired. Um, so I'm just, I'm, I'm honored. In fact, you hope he'll be next to you at some point? Definitely. Back yeah. in three months? Yeah, that's the goal. You know, that's why I try to tell him to enjoy it, you know, try to make your legacy as big as you can be. Try to, you know, win everything, win every game, try to win every award, every championship because then, um, when you look back at it, you look at the hard work you've done, it's going to be worth it. Uh, has it sunk in, the impact you had on this Illinois program in your three years here? Um, not really, you know, because I did it uh, for the program, you know. Um, I did it to, for the, over, the oversight view of the program, so um, I wasn't looking at it just for myself. You know, if it was, that was the case, I would have left my freshman and sophomore year, but, you know, um, that's what I want to do. I want to build a legacy. And um, build a legacy is take more than one year. It takes patience. It takes, you know, a lot of you know long nights. Um, it takes a lot of mental toughness. You have to be locked in mentally. But um, I'm definitely am excited to know where this program is. Last one. Last one. All right. What, what would you say to kids uh, from the state of Illinois, to, from the city of Chicago, uh, and you know, holding up this example for them on what they can accomplish if they stay home? Yeah, I mean, I just tell them they can do anything they put their mind to. And um, one thing I can say, it's not going to be easy. Um, I think that's what the main thing when it comes to um, guys not wanting to stay home is not wanting to go on that challenge and, and wanting to make an easier route. But 
um, staying home, doing it for your home state. Um, it's definitely a, a a hard challenge, but you know when you walk in, you put the time in. Um, overall, it pays off. Okay. Thank, Thank you, everybody. You. Thank Thank you.